the perfect community. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. How would the perfect community look like? How would need to people act in families, in cities, in their workplaces, in countries and among nations? How would politicians and deciders need to act? Naturally, by our human nature, we always see in ourselves what is good and in others what is bad. As soon as someone does a small error, we point it out or in the worst case gossip about it or try to revenge or try to put other people down and elevate ourselves. And even among Christians that can happen, that they judge each other and dis even despise and condemn each other. It should not be the case. Peter explains in his first letter, chapter 4, verse 8, Above everything, love one another earnestly, because love covers a multitude of sins. Or, in other words, charity shall cover a multitude of sins. It's already written in the Proverbs 10. If that was really done, then the whole community would be built up. If we don't lift ourselves on a high place and try to push others down, to see what they do wrong, to point out their wrongdoings, to criticize, to judge, to condemn. If there was no criticizing, no judgment, no condemnation, then everybody would be built up. And then the whole community would be better as a whole. And each individual would be better and better off as well. Lord, we praise your holy name. You are perfect and you, con you don't condemn. You don't want to judge and to push people down. You want to build us up and we ask for forgiveness where we judge others, where we condemn us others, where we see only what they do wrong, where we see ourselves in a too good light and others in a too bad light. Help us to change, to become as you want us to be, to follow your example. You have perfectly loved the people and still love them. You want to build up everybody's life, no matter how much the person can achieve or cannot. We pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit and with your love and also all the people, also all decision makers and all in authority, that you are with them as well. And as such, we pray that you prepare us for your eternal kingdom, where we will praise your holy name forever. Amen.